whatever you give me, I'll be a miracle keeper. Honey, a miracle. Hi guys, my name is Penny, and you are locked into Neo Music. Today I have Nonso Amadi. How are you? Yes, How are you I'm, feeling? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Yeah. How are you doing? Um, I'm good. I'm alive. <laughs> you know. Yes. How great. you find in London? Great. You know. Um, every time I come here, it's like. It feels like a home, second home, third home, fourth home, one of the homes. <laughs> yeah, nice. so it's always fun. Yeah. And you have good Nigerian food out here. Right? <laughs> okay, so mm. what tribe are you from? So I'm actually Ikwiri. Okay. And um, if you ask any Ikwiri person, they'll say they're not Igbo. Um, so, but we speak, the language is very similar to Igbo. So, yeah. Oh, okay. And my mom's Igbo, though. She's from Imo State. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm River State. Oh, my dad's okay. from River State, so yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so, we're just going to get into a little icebreaker. Okay. Um, have you played Word Association before? Um, yes, I've spent a long time, so... <laughs> Do you need uh, refreshing and refresh, up on the rules? Refresh me a little bit, yeah. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to say a word. Okay. And then you're going to say a word that comes into your mind after oh. I say the word. Okay. Yeah? Okay. I'll give you a warm-up word. Jollof rice. Chicken. Okay, cool. That yeah, was, that was not good. not too bad. That was okay. good. Okay. Uh, next one. Nigeria. Nigeria... Lagos. I don't know why that's the first place that comes to my mind. Yeah, Lagos. <laughs> Lagos. Lagos. Okay, cool. Or like, you know, like food. food. That, that's a good one. Food, yeah. yeah. Um, R&B. Alicia Keys. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Drink. Chapman. What oh, the random? That's Alexa. so random. I don't even... Okay. Let's <laughs> just go. <laughs> okay, let me switch it up. Love. Money. Gold diggers. Heartbreakers. Demons. Evil people. <laughs> was not expecting that. I was expecting, you know, flowers, no. sunshine. Trust no? me. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave that for another day. Um, passion. Uh, Drake. Passion. Passion fruit. What's that Drake song? Passion? Pa passion. Passion. Pa passion. Pa I can't sing, by the way, so I'm oh, not... Yeah, I'm it's not a passion, passion something. Na, na, na. I don't know why that came to my head, Drake. Yeah. That, that was random too. Yeah, you. very random. <laughs> I'm going to expose you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me switch it up again. Pot. Tea. Okay. That, that's, a, that's a reasonable sense. one, yeah? yeah? New. Music. Okay, like that. <laughs> London. <laughs> London. London. What's coming to my head? I'm just saying soccer. Like, I'm saying Chelsea. I'm saying, like. Oh, are you a Chelsea fan? Yeah, I'm a Chelsea oh, fan. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, You're a Chelsea yeah. fan? Yeah. Right, nice. right nice. now is a moment of loss for us. Yeah. And a moment of mourning. Mm. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard, them. man. <laughs> I'm looking for a new team. I won't lie. <laughs> I heard Arsenal's quite good, but, you know. You know what? <laughs> you can't convert, can you? Oh, no. They will take me, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so I've got two more for you. Okay. Uh, bread. Akara. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. It, it, it works. Bro, it, trust me. It, it, it slaps. I'm not going to lie. Uh, last one, Nonso Amadi. Um, the sweetest, kindest, amazing, just... Darling, you know? I love how you picked yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. up there. It's essential, Just isn't delicious. it? Delicious. Delicious is the word. Trust delicious, me. everyone. Delicious. Not so amadi. Delicious. <laughs> so uh, let's get straight into it. Now you're warmed up. Are you feeling okay. warmed up? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, cool. Uh, so, how are you feeling about finally releasing your album into the world? Honestly, I just feel so grateful, man. It's been a lot of time in the making. Um, and then we're finally here, like, it's about to come out. There's a lot of, like, anticipation for it. Um, and I feel like once it drops, I'm probably just going to, like, decompress, you know, because right now it's a little anxiety and excitement. But, yeah, once it drops, I'm just going to be like, thank you, God. You know, we're here. And a sigh of relief. Yeah, a sigh of relief, for nice. sure. When you were creating the album, like, what 
did you use as inspiration to, you know, put the music together? Um, a lot of the things I used for inspiration were, like, personal stuff. I was really trying to, like, create an album that was true because um, when I first started make, making music, it was mostly just lies. It was full of lies, everything. <laughs> like, g- generally speaking, you know, my first song, I'm talking about a girl coming with a gun, um, one of my first songs, with a gun in her hand and trying to shoot me for cheating. But that never happened, guys. And these questions need to stop. Uh, I'm just genuine things like that. Like, you know, sometimes I talk about wanting to spend money on a girl, but it's like, I won't spend anything. We know get shit shit. But now it's just like genuinely, genuinely speaking about my story and my journey and um, the come up. Um, and just like the rough times that we've had, the good times we've had. Um, it's all embedded in the project, so it just feels like you're actually being honest with the listener. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Yeah. Um, so, what is your favorite song from the album? Um, right now, it's probably the last song. It's a song called Thankful, and it just talks about, you know, being grateful for where you are, grateful for your fans, family, you know, managers, everything. And it has um, a voice note from my mom on there so it's pretty deep okay so my favorite song from you is lock up okay love that song <laughs> by the way the animation on yeah, the video yeah. was slick Insane. absolutely love it um you did a feature with zeno liski so mm-hmm. how did that collaboration come together um so um it's funny because i actually went for a songwriting camp with mr easy um in kotonu benin and on my way there i was with his manager um and she she was like, yo, no, so fine, great to meet you, all that. Um, and then she asked me to play her a few songs. So I played her this song, Loka, which I recorded like way back in 2018. So I wasn't even like feeling like playing it, but I was like, it has an Afrobeat bounce to it. It makes sense, you know? So I played it for her and she's like, yo, you need to get Zeno on this. I'm gonna make it work. She made it happen. You know, the next thing I get is a, a video call from Zeno Liski back into his verse. And I'm like, yo, we got one. That's crazy. You know, but I never actually met him before creating the record. And it just came together, you know, really well. So it was organic. Organic. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> That's the best features. Yeah. Um, so a lot of artists struggle with like coping with the work life balance and being an artist and the pressure it has on them. So, how do you, as an artist, um, you know, find that balance between the physical and the mental side of things? Um, I've, I really, like, learned over, over time to be able to disconnect. Um, I took, like, a two-year break from music in 2021, I want to say, 2020. Um, and then over that time, I learned that, like, yo, I can actually just forget that I'm a musician for a bit. I just remember I'm a human being and I have all these emotions and like I have a mental state of mind that I need to take care of. Over that time, I learned how to paint. You know, I learned how to play the guitar. I was just like a hippie. Like I just forgot (laughs) everything. I was just, you know, living life. I called my dad. I spoke to my dad properly for the first time in ages. Got to learn about his business. Spoke to my mom. So just like growing as a person um, and that really really helped me create this album because without that I wouldn't have learned how to be vulnerable enough to create a project like this Um, and it just really helped me with that balance you're speaking of you know being an artist there's a lot of things in our minds are constantly thinking about numbers streams and TikTok and this and like bro you know sometimes just like be like yo I'm gonna go watch a movie I'm just gonna go chill with my folks and just you know leave it be um because you know there's a lot of things we need to remember as people that we as much as we're improving in music we need to also improve our physical our ties to everyone around us people who truly care about us music or no music these are the people that are going to be there with you so yeah Yeah. amazing i love that answer by the way and um i see you are performing at great escape in brighton congratulations by the way for bagging that that's incredible (laughs) <laughs> so when you're about to perform on stage, how do you prepare yourself? Um, definitely pray. Um, this is one of the things I, I learned over time, is to involve God in every step of my journey. Um, so definitely pray, number one. Um, number two is I just like, 
I almost like try to forget that I'm about to go on stage because if I keep thinking about it, I'll just run. Say, where is Noso? Where is it going to? <laughs> you see me in Kotonu somewhere. <laughs> um, but, but basically, I try to just like forget that I'm about to hop on. I try to like think about other things, distract myself a little bit, um, you know, and that really kind of helps because the nervousness is real, you know, before you get on stage with a lot of people. Um, but then just before you get on stage, you now have to now prepare yourself for that, um, for that move. So you do that by like reminding yourself that people are there to see you. They're, they're excited to hear your music. Um, just encourage yourself a little bit. Like, yo, I'm about to go there and have the best time and get up like, whoa, we did it. You know, so little things like that, like I've learned over time, just really helped me. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so we're going to switch up the questions a little bit. Okay. Going to make it a bit fun. All right. Um, so the first one, if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? All right, this is very easy. Oh. I need the power to make money. Because <laughs> that power can be useless. You can be printing Kobo. Nobody will send you pounds. Just wake up. Pounds, pounds, pounds. That's my, my power. So power. If you were a snack, what would you be and why? Hmm. I'll probably be um, Pringles. What flavor? Sour cream. Why? It's like, there's only so much you can take at once. It's going to finish. If you keep eating, it's going to finish. So you have to take it in doses. It's a bit sour, but you keep going. You keep going. So I want more, I want more, I want more. So that's me. If you would just want more. I'm delicious. I love that, by the way. Yeah, trust me. Trust me. Okay, last fun question I have for you. So, it is the end of the world. Nonso Amadi has to survive the apocalypse. You're in a store. What five items are you taking to survive? Okay, so I don't need money because the, the world is done. Everyone's done. Uh, there's five items to survive. Hmm. Definitely food. You need food, right? You yeah. need to go find, like... Water and food, top two. Okay, so you gotta find two. water as much water as you can get. You gotta get get food. Um, they don't have jello, so this store is useless. So you just manage what you can get. Um, <laughs> but um, obviously, you gotta stay clean. Get some soap. You know, the, you know, toiletries and stuff. Let's three. call that three. Um, what else can I get from this store? If if you see all the zombies, you know the dead bodies, mm -hmm. you can pull jacket, sweater, cover it for heat. So instead of going to the store to get the jacket, you're just going to get it from the zombies? Yes, because <laughs> obviously, like, you might not, you have to find your size. Uh. <laughs> I mean, are you, are you surviving? <laughs> wait, wait, but what if someone is wearing, like, Burberry or something? I mean, the world has ended, it doesn't matter. I think you could just, you know... But this guy, the person on the floor, his own looks better. Like, it's... <laughs> The way he's already worn it, it looks like it's... Yeah. You understand? So you can just pull from him and then cover yourself. You're fine. So, so number four, drip is forever. Drip, basically. of course. You have to okay. drip. Oh, okay. How can you be dying? You won't drip. And you won't drip. I, I imagine. You're kind of dying. This is a pointless death. <laughs> and what's the last one? The last one you need is... Hmm, you got to find you a nice Pringles. Nice Pringles to go. You understand? Sour cream. Sour cream. Just get, Sour cream. get you a nice Pringles. I know you have food already, but you need the snacks. You know? Sour that's, cream Pringles. That's a good five selection. Yeah, good. Like. Pringle, food, but Pringles. Pr yeah, food, okay. but Pringles. Yeah. That's Make it. it sour cream, guys. Yeah. Always. That's it. Okay. I love that. I got you, guys. Apocalypse. <laughs> get your list ready. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Man. <laughs> so, final question. Yeah. Um, what's next after your album drops for you? Um, tour. I'm excited for this because we're gonna be going to different countries: the UK, Canada, yes. Europe in general. We're gonna be touring as many countries as possible: um, Africa, US. Yeah. So those are the main places for now that we're we're looking to to do some touring. But it's exciting because we're trying to bring the theme of the album on stage. So the flowers, the 
the concept of like blooming on, on stage in the background and all that. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see that. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Um, well, guys, that was it. Thank you so much for sitting down with us at Neo Music, Nonce. It's been, it's been very sour cream and Pringles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if there's one thing you learned today, go get you some sour cream. <laughs>